This is a picture of the cargo pipeline manifold of a chemical tanker. Cargo contamination is a major issue on chemical tankers. It is quite common to have independent tanks, transfer pumps and lines for each grade on a chemical tanker. There must be a drip tray or save all for the cargo manifold. Check that the drain on the drip tray is closed before transfer operations. Some bulk liquids can be transferred by flexible hoses. Some bulk liquids must be transferred by a loading arm or chicksen. During the vetting process, the tanker and the terminal exchange information about the number, sizes and connections for each grade to be transferred. The ship will usually have a number of reducers that allow hoses and pipelines of different sizes to be connected. For bolted flange connections, the number, size and disposition of the bolt spaces have to be known before the ship arrives. The details of the gasket to be used in the connection is confirmed prior to arrival. The number, length and thread on the bolts to be used is known prior to arrival. Some loading lines are fitted with quick connect-disconnect couplings. This image shows multiple reducers in use at the ship shore interface. Non-sparking tools must be used for working on manifold connections. The gasket used for the connection must be able to contain the product being transferred under pressure. There are risks from moving machinery and pinch points during connection operations. When flexible hoses are used for transfer, the hoses must be properly supported. This slide provides some guidance on the disposition of slings and flanges when supporting hoses. Unsupported hoses are at risk of rupture.